Hello, how are you, dear student? Hope you are all fine. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. Today, we discuss about a very important topic. Uh, the topic is grasshopper and labor ruhita, the comparison between the blood circulation of grasshopper and labor ruhita. We know that grasshopper is under the phylum of arthropods and labor ruhita is under the phylum of chordate animals. So what is the difference between the arthropod and chordata? Uh, the chordata they have the notochord, nerve cord, and endostyle, but the arthropod they have not any notochord, nerve cord, but they have the jointed appendix, two pair uh, wings, three pair legs. And the, what is the basic difference? The blood circulation of labor ruhita and arthropoda or grasshopper. The open tape blood circulation is found in grasshopper and closed tape blood circulation found in labor ruhita. Uh, the open tape blood circulation that means they have the no any blood vessels, arteries, or vein that have no any blood vessel arteries or veins but the labor ruhita close to blood circulation they have arterial system and venous system uh, firstly we know that's about the component of the grasshopper blood circulation the component of blood circular grasshoppers they constitute of three component and they constitute of four component three components are hemocyl hemolin heart blood circulation constant of grasshopper is three types Hemocyl, hemolin, heart, and the labor ruhita component uh, heart, arterial system, venous system, and blood. The point two, hemocyl. They have hemocyl, but they have no any hemocyl. Now we talk about hemocyl. Gashover, they have three hemo, they have three sinus present in hemocyl. Perineural sinus, perivisceral sinus, pericardial sinus. But in this circulation, labor with the blood circulation, they have no any blood circulation, they have no any sinus, they have free sinus. The hemocyl is constituted of two diaphragm, ventral diaphragm, dorsal diaphragm, and free sinus, perineural sinus, perivisceral sinus, pericardial sinus. The blood circulation of grasshopper constituent of three component: one hemocyl. 2 hemolin, 3 heart and bar circulation of labor ruhita composes constitute of four component heart arterial system venous system and blood number 2 the hemolin grasshopper blood is called hemolin because the blood mixed with lymph this is the called hemolin because the blood mixed with lymph and the hemolymph also divided two parts, main component, one plasma and two hemocyte, hemocytes, hemocyte also three part, pro-hemocyte, transitional hemocyte and large hemocyte. That means uh, grasshopper blood circulation constant three component hemocyl, hemolymph, heart. The hemocyl constant two diaphragm, dental diaphragm, dorsal diaphragm, and three sinus perineural sinus, perivisceral sinus, pericardial sinus. Number two, the blood circulation and the heart of labor ruhita constant two chamber atrium ventricle and one subchamber is the sinus venosus. They have also arterial and venous system. Number three, the heart. The grasshopper heart, just seven chamber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven chamber but but labor hita only two chamber. Labor hita only two chamber. One is atrium, one is ventricle, and one subchamber is sinus venosus. So they have one subchamber is sinus venosus and two chamber of the heart, but the grasshopper is seven chamber heart and one they have no any subchamber and they have also allergy muscles, but they have no allergy muscles. Grasshopper blood circulation they have allergy muscle, but uh, lube ruhita they have no allergy muscle. 
their heart is seven chamber and their heart is two chamber and one sub chamber is sinus venosus and they have no any chamber the he limb hemolymph that means the grasshopper blood is called hemolymph because the mix with limb and it's con constant of two component plasma and hemocyte hemocyte is a constant of three component pro transitional and large hemocyte but the blood of Leberurheta constate two blood cell. One is RBC red blood cell, another is WBC or red blood cell. They have the nucleus. Two blood cell, red blood cell, and white blood cell. But they have a hemocyte or blood cell three type: pro, transitional, and large hemocyte. Then the heart. The heart, grasshopper heart, seven chambered, and this is the two chamber, one sub chamber, and sinus venosus. Now the flow of blood, grasshopper, the blood circulation start perineural sinus, then the blood enter into previsceral sinus, and then the blood into pericardial sinus. Perineural sinus, then blood flow grow into the perivisceral sinus then pericardial sinus then heart the posterior dorsal aorta to the uh, then the blood goes to the chamber number six seven six five three two then it's goes into the anterior dorsal aorta the blood flow perineural sinus then the perivisceral sinus pericardial sinus heart this is the seven chamber then it's good dorsal aorta and then finally the blood reach into the head sinus and again the intro into the perineal and perineural sinus this circle is uh, happened several times is uh, the heartbeat of a blood circulation of hundred to hundred ten time per minute is the heartbeat of gashopper Laboratory here blood circulation flow the first is the blood is also called the venous heart because venous heart the heart of blood the laboratory the heart just uh, the circulate the carbon dioxide blood and it's called the venous heart and it has the two uh, chamber atrium ventricle sub chamber sinus venosus they have the three valves the between the atrium and sinus venosus the valve called sinoatrial valve and another valve is atrioventricular valve which is the situated between the atrium and ventricle and the third valve is valvus arteriosus which uh, and ventricle and the valve call is ventricle valvus arterios valves ventricolo valvus arterio valves ventricolo valvus arterio valves they have the three valves that means three valves laborita have three valves in heart one is sinoatrial valve situated between the atrium and sinus venosus and two is atrioventricular valve between atrium and ventricle the third valve is ventricular bulbous valve and situated between the ventricle and bulbous arteries that means laborita have, have three valves but gastropod they have no any valves and they have three sinus perineural sinus perivisceral sinus pericardial sinus but they have the three valves in the heart this is the our sinoatrial valve atrioventricular valve ventricular bulbous valve it is the main uh, it is the another main difference between the heart of uh, the laborita and grasshopper the flow of blood the pathway of the blood flow in laborita says that Firstly, the blood from body to the sinus venosus, the subchamber. Then the blood goes into the atrium, then atrium, then ventricle, and ventricle to bulbous artery, bulbous artery to gill. Then again, the blood entered into the body, and that's how the circulation is circulated many times. The pathway of blood flow in Liberuita. So we uh, see the the basic difference between the gastropor and liberuita they have the th two chamber but they have the seven chamber they have a three valve they have no barb they have the c sinus uh, perineural sinus perivisceral sinus pericardial sinus but they have three valve sinus atrial valve atrioventricular valve 
and ventricular bulbous part. And this is the another portion is bulbous arteriosus is the part of the gills or respiration system. It is the part of the respiration system and the bulbous arteriosus. Then the blood uh, grow from uh, to the uh, arterial system and venous system. That's a uh, you know that. Uh, the blood circulation uh, it is the very important topics to you the comparison between the blood circulation of gastropor and the labrohita the blood circulation of the gastropor is open type and the labrohita is the closed type then uh, the blood is uh, the circulation is the constitute of three component is a hemocell hemolymph or heart this is the heart is seven chamber and the blood circulation of labrohita constitute the fourth component is that heart arterial system venous system and blood the blood circulation also the it is the seven chamber heart and posterior dorsal aorta and alary muscles anterior post anterior aorta dorsal aorta and uh, head sinus and the ventral diaphragm and dorsal diaphragm the heart is the labor with the constant of atrium ventricle to chamber and sub chamber sinus venosus and it is the three it have three valve sinus atrial valve atrial ventricular valve and ventricular bulbous bar and the flow of the blood uh, pathway of the blood flow in gastropor the is gastropor perineal sinus then is the perivisceral sinus pericardial sinus then heart then it goes to posterior to dorsal aorta and head sinus then but again enter into the perineal perineal sinus uh, this is the main difference between the gastropor and labor rohita it's a very important topic to your students we hope that you enjoy this class and uh, uh, this class is uh, so much important uh, to understand the difference between the gastropor and Leverita. So, thank you all and uh, again thank you all.